Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Mama Goose Brick. Don't you love this look so far? Oh, I what the hell moment of the day. It's actually been a what the hell moment for about a week and a half ago, but I have not been up to filming anything. I probably shouldn't be allowed to put makeup on right now either because this is looking pretty scary and pretty drastic at this moment. Okay, <laughs> it's brought to you today. Once again, by Wake County Schools. Y'all remember my what the hell moment with my son? Well, I've had a serious what the hell moment with my daughter. Um, shortly after my sister was diagnosed with colon cancer, about, I want to say, two and a half weeks ago, I got a frantic and hysterical phone call from my daughter in the middle of the day. My daughter is 16. My daughter is a really, really, really good student. My daughter is active. My daughter is social. And my daughter is not a problem child, other than the fact that she is a 16-year-old female, which is enough to drive any parent crazy, and I know that moms of teenage girls everywhere are saying amen to that right now. Okay, so I get this frantic, hysterical phone call. And um, it's my daughter. And she tells me she can't do it anymore. She's in the counselor's office at school. And she just wants to drop out. And I'm thinking... What the hell? What's wrong with my kid? What's going on? And I said to her, Abigail, where is the counselor right now? Because I'm thinking we'll just hand the phone over to her and she and I can talk and do I need to come? And I kept saying, Abby, do you need me to come right now? Well, y'all know that that's going to take a little bit because I don't drive because um, cause of my condition. It's not safe. But I was going to go anyway. This is my child. My daughter then informs me that the counselor has gone to heat up her lunch. My child is in there in crisis, totally falling apart, wanting to drop out of school with no warnings. And her counselor went to heat up her lunch. And I said, well, did she go to heat up her lunch and tell you that she'd be right back, that you should call me. She said, no, she just said, I'll be right back. I just need to heat this up real quick. Are you guys getting as sick to your stomach as I am? So I'm asking my daughter, what's wrong? What happened? Has someone hurt you? Is somebody hurting you? You know, all these questions that go through your mind when your child is losing it. Her answer to everything was, no, 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 I just can't handle it. So I think, well, maybe she just doesn't want to tell me. So I stay on the phone with my child because I really feel that at this point, it's not a good idea to leave her alone. And the counselor is not in there. She could just walk off campus and do whatever. And that scares me. So, I wait for a few minutes, and I'm telling you it was a few minutes, uh, listening to my daughter just come apart at the seams. And then she tells me, well, Miss So-and-so has told me where I can go to get my GED. I need you to understand something. If you have a GED, I have nothing against you or your education. There's nothing wrong with that. For my child. For my child, that's not an option. For my child, I want her to have a fully accredited high school diploma for a lot of reasons. And if you do have a GED, you probably understand what I'm talking about and why I'm saying it's important. Because the horrible, cruel fact is that this world does not 
look at a GED the same way that they look at a high school diploma, even though they're equivalent. It isn't fair, it isn't right, but it is the way it is. I don't want that for my daughter. So I'm sitting here going, well, obviously I've got to do something. A GED is not an option for her. I want her to have a, a diploma. And what the hell is this counselor doing? One, going and having lunch, and then two, just giving her options for her GED. And I thought, well, maybe she should talk to her about staying in school and finishing it out because Abigail is a junior and she only has until May. And then she's finished her junior year. This woman finally returns to the office and is quite surprised that Abby's on the phone with her mom. And she gets on the phone and immediately becomes extremely condescending. Now, girls, we all know what happens when you get condescending with me? Somebody didn't get the memo on that. And I asked her, what the hell are you telling my daughter? I mean, as far as she's saying, you're just telling her to go ahead and drop out and get her GED. And that is not an option for her. I will not allow that. She has to go somewhere. Is there a program? Is there a whatever? You know, I'm kind of in panic mode. And I, you know, before this, I'm saying, what's wrong with her? Did something happen? Woman has no clue. She never asked. She becomes even more condescending and tells me that she'd be happy to meet with me sometime in the next week or so, but she's sending Abigail home with the paperwork that will explain to both of us where she can go to get her GED. You're a high school fucking counselor. When you have a child come in in crisis and they've gone from being an AB student to failing almost overnight, there is fucking something wrong. And it is your job to find out what that is. What if, what if my child had been being abused at home? You didn't even ask, you didn't even try. What if she was being abused by a teacher or someone at school? You did not even ask or investigate. All you did was say, here you go, Abigail. You want to quit? Go ahead. Here's the paperwork. My job's done here. Fuck you. This is my kid you're dealing with, and we need to know what's wrong. Well, let me tell you what. We found out what's wrong, and what's wrong is pretty fucking sad. What's wrong is that my daughter has been watching for the last nine months, her mother dying. It's the only way a child can see this. It's the only thing you see with me. You guys see me here on YouTube with my hair done, my makeup on, sometimes not. But I seem like I'm okay. I seem like there's nothing wrong. The other is, some days I can't walk at all. Other days I can do just like anybody else, but the pain is always there. And my child has watched me deteriorate. She's watched my body change, she's watched everything change, and she is not coping. That woman should have talked to her about this, let me know so that I could get my kid help. But no, she handed her paperwork that tells her how to get her GED and just quit. And I'm gonna tell you why. And if you guys are in the Cary area and you're watching this and you don't like what I'm about to say, I don't give a flying rat's ass. In fact, I have slammed so many rat's asses up against my give a damn that they've both broken. My daughter is not a cheerleader. My daughter is not in the band. We have a fantastic marching band at Cary High, among other things. My daughter is not involved in extracurricular activities because she chooses to do her own thing with her friends, and I have no problem with that. My daughter is a good student, but my daughter is not the face of Cary High School. My daughter does not have wealthy parents. My daughter's mother has letters behind her name that don't amount to that much because they aren't MD, 
PhD. Her dad is incredible and works ridiculous hours and has more certification for his line of work than anyone else in this country because all his certs come from schools in Canada and you don't even have those programs here. But his field of expertise is in construction. That makes him just a grubby construction worker and there's nothing wrong with that. But according to Carrie High, there is. Had we been wealthy, had I have been somebody important or my husband been somebody important because of letters behind their name or where they worked. Had I been one of those moms who was on the PTA, PTO, PT, what the fuck ever, and you guys know how I feel about those places, they would have tried. They would have asked to keep my child in school. But see, my daughter, my daughter didn't matter. And I'm not overreacting. And I'm not exaggerating. When I went to withdraw her, because I did withdraw her, when the reality of all this hit, she was withdrawn immediately. It took two minutes to get her transcripts together at the registrar's office. They did not ask me any questions, nor did they speak to my child. What they did was they brought me her transcript, her unofficial transcript. You know what makes it unofficial? They stamped it unofficial. On it, there is a little question that says reason for withdrawing. I was never asked what the reason was that my daughter was withdrawing and neither was she. They took the liberty of filling that in and saying she was transferring to community college because her grades were so high. Why? Because that makes them look really good to the school board and to the district. Carrie High is one of the top three high schools in this area. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Because when a student is struggling, it is easier to just dismiss them and get rid of them than to find out what's wrong and actually help them. Because when a student is struggling and all of a sudden their grades drop, the collective GPA of that school goes down and they can lose some ranking. So it's better to just transfer those kids to community college because they were so smart. What the hell? Now, if y'all think this is over, you really don't know anything about me. This is going to the school board for Wake County, it's also going to the State Board of Education. All of this. My daughter has been transferred to an online program, an accredited online program that we're gonna have to do some serious financial juggling to get her into, and I don't care because it's a really good program. They needed her transcripts. Now, I told you that this happened about two weeks ago. I asked for the transcripts the next day to be sent to this uh, school. It took me calling and threatening to come down there for them to actually put those transcripts through Friday. It's Sunday today. Two weeks to press send. They couldn't be bothered. So, I'll let you know how this goes.